Okay, now that we've set up our project, we now have our sequence up here, Adobe Tutorials, on our timeline. It is now time to begin, you know, importing our files. And what we want to do is make this project area look the same as our source bin. We're going to make folders in here to replicate that, okay? So we're going to right click new bins, just like creating a folder. Right click new bin. First, one we're going to name audio. Do another one. Make it graphics. One more. We're going to name it video, just like the source bin. We're going to make one more and name it titles. Now, our titles are going to be made inside of Premiere. We don't have to really worry about those right now. That's why it's not in our source uh, bin. But I'm going to close all those right now. We're going to open video because this is where we're going to import our video clips. All right, we're going to double click the icon. Video pops up, and we know this window is for our video because it says bin video. Okay? Now, when you want to import, you can click over here in the gray area. That's going to open up the import window. I'm going to cancel it out. If it didn't work that way, right click, import. Opens up the same window, import window. And this is where we're going to go find our files that we saved in our personal folder in an SD card earlier. So go to our name folder, Adobe Tutorials, source files. We're going to go inside of video. And we're going to find that date folder with the SD on there. We're going to click it. We don't have to go deeper than this because this is where it has our video. And once you do that, we're going to click import. And it's going to pull all that stuff in. It's loading, loading, loading. You have to wait on that bar to finish out in order to get all our projects. If you cancel, you won't get everything imported. So we just let that bar finish loading. All right. Once that bar finishes loading, we have a file not supported message. File import failure. I know this. This is because we have just imported files that also are compatible for our camera, but not for Premiere. We know this. We don't need it. It's okay. You don't have to have a fit about it. It's still important footage. Click OK. Now we see our footage over here in our video bin. When we open it up, go open up stream, and you see all of our video clips right here housed perfectly nice and neat. You click on the icon. You can preview it over in your source window. You know, you can play it there. If you want to grab the playhead, you can scrub through it. You can click another clip and preview it right there in the source. And we are good to go. All right. We've imported successfully. You know, usually after I import, I like to save. So I do my Command S or my Windows key S. Save it a couple times. Make sure it's in there good to go. Yes, we are successful. We go back to our project bin. We see all those same files we just made in there. Our footage in there, nice and neat, tucked away. All right, but right now I want to show you a different way to import files. There's another way we can import files and be a little more picky about what we bring in. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to delete what we already have in there, get rid of that. And I'm going to open up or import my files through our media browser, which is down directly beneath our Adobe. So I open up that video bin up top. I come to my media browser. And I'm going to put it in my list view. And we're going to find our home directory and find our desktop. All right, it's over here, desktop. Click it. We're going to open it up. And we're going to go down our personal folder again, open that. We're going to open up Adobe Tutorials, open up Source Files, open up Video Files, and we see our date folder again right there. We're going to open it up. This time, we're not going to import the whole thing, and we see our three folders. Our camera uses DTIM and MISC. We don't need those. Our files are in private. So we're going to open up private, and we see our clips. We know that they're a video with audio because we see a film strip with our speaker, and we double-click those. We can preview those before we even import them. If we double click them down there, it'll pop up in our source bin. It takes a little longer to load, but we can preview them right there. So now we can be selective about what clips we actually pull into our project. All right, so we find the clips we want. We can just click on them, drag them up top into our bin. All right, make a new bin, make it the SD date name again so we can stay organized. We don't want to have a bunch of clips named the same thing. Open that up, and we're going to drag these clips straight into that bin that we just created 10.16 SD1. So I find the clips I want. That one's great. Pick it up, drop it in there. Pick it up, drop it in there. Just click, drag, and drop. That's all you're doing. Pick the files you want, you move them there. They import, great. And now we don't have all the junk we don't want because we preview them before you even import them into the program. Sometimes this is great, but if you have the time to do it, you can clean through it. Sometimes I like just importing the whole thing, but it's all about your personal preference as to how you want to do it. You can import both ways. You can use them the same way once you import them these ways. You can use them on a timeline. You can put them in source. Do everything the same. It's just... You know, what do you prefer? Do you want to go through your clips before you import them? Or do you just want to import the whole batch and bring them in?